Alright guys, this is Garden Tractor Garage coming back to y'all with another video. Today's video is actually about the Cub Cadet 106. You guys haven't seen this uh, garden tractor since, uh, well at least here on my YouTube channel, since the video on the 318. And you guys just kind of seen a glimpse of it then, not really a focused video on it. So, here's my focus video. Currently, we are restoring it, or repainting it. You can see uh, where we've been sanding it down. And uh, we also got some Bondo here, or body filler, excuse me got some body filler in there because um, there was holes and we welded it up with the welder and then the imperfections we came back with the uh, body filler currently everything is taken apart uh, every everything is loose excuse me that was my watch uh, everything's loose and basically just sitting on the tractor besides I have one bolt holding the grill in. So, there is still a lot of work to be done on this thing before we can prime and paint. We have to sand all this down. We're gonna do that with a wire wheel with it being cast iron. And still a lot more hand sanding to do. This seat is in good condition, but I do plan on getting another seat. So, when I first got this garden tractor, it came with a deck here. And, um, I actually got this garden tractor from my great uncle. He, uh, he was going to give it to me, and I wouldn't take it for free, so he said, well, give me a dollar for it. So I paid him a dollar for it, and I got this unit with the mower deck. There's the mule drive. I believe it's a 44, 46 inch mower deck. It's a uh, low to mid 40s. I also got the tractor cleats from him, and these are Firestone tires, and they are fluid filled as well. Which we're gonna have to redo that when we paint the tie or wheels, excuse me. Something else I also got from him is a sleeve hitch. And this thing is gonna be very beneficial for uh, plowing our garden or uh, just just a little bit of everything. Um, I'm really, really happy to have a sleeve hitch. Sorry, that was my watch again. Um, this bracket here, I actually did buy that um, here recently off eBay. So, I got this bracket. All I need now is the lift and the rod that goes to my lever there. But, my plan is, when this thing's done, it's not going to have any rust on it. That's uh, my goal, and I want the paint job to come out real clean, too. It's going to be a working tractor, and I want to work it and not be afraid to do so. Because it's going to have imperfections. We're not professionals, me and my dad are not. But we'll make it look pretty good, hopefully. Um, I got these wheel weights from my other uncle. Thank you for the wheel weights if you're watching this video. And to my great uncle if he's also watching this video. Thank you for this entire unit. Um, I'll make sure to uh, show you it when it's all done. You guys may be wondering why I have one turf tire in the front and one three ribbed in the front. And if you've seen wondering why there is not a front tire on the Massey, and it's on a jack stand. Well, here's the tire. Well, wheel and tire. The other wheel is right here, and 
I am planning on uh, putting three ribs on here. So that that is why I did that. So I, I think I think it's gonna look pretty good. Hopefully, um, um, I'm real happy uh, of how everything's going so far. When I first got, excuse me, that was my hand here. When I first got these tires, I uh, put them on. I had the turf tires on. I had the turf tires on this thing. And, um, my dad actually suggested to put the cleats on here. I wasn't planning on it. Not this garden tractor, at least. Um, but he thought we should, so we threw it on. We threw them on here, and I really like the look of it. It's a bit narrow, so it is a... It is an interesting look, because usually they stick out a bit more, the tires do, from the fenders. It would look great if it was a round fender or something like that, but um, it is the square fender. I guess that's what you would call this. But um, wider isn't always better, so uh, I'm hoping this thing gets a lot of grip. And the treads here, they are pretty thick and they go down pretty deep, so, um, I'm hoping this thing pulls like a tank. When I, uh, get it, um, back into working order, I'm planning on doing a tug of war with the 318, so it would be a 10 horse cast iron Kohler up against a Onan B43G 18 horse, so... I honestly, if I can get enough weight on the Cub here, I honestly think that um, it's going to be a pretty fair, uh, pretty fair turnout. The Cub may even win. I don't know. The, the 318 has proven itself to be a good pulling machine, though. So, uh, I don't know. And with it being hydrostat, most of the time, um, a gear drive, or a gear driven, excuse me, uh, rear end usually prevails when it comes to pulling. But, um, yeah, I will be sure to keep you guys updated on the process of repainting this thing. Um, so check me out on Instagram at Garden Tractor Garage, just like the YouTube channel. Um, I've, I post a lot on there. I try to. And... I have been posting pictures of the process of repainting this thing, um, or restoring it. So, hopefully you guys like this video, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Garden Tractor Garage, signing out. Bye.